I would describe myself as odd. I like galloping, but I'm sometimes a bit strange. I think I'd describe myself as a really weird person. Quite picky. Sometimes I can't like help what I'm doing. I think I'd probably describe myself as awesome. We're all different and all equal. Some people describe us differently to who we've described ourselves, haven't they? Yeah. yeah. It's just autism. It's not an illness. It's not anything you should be really ashamed of. I mean, we're not trying to be um, different. We like to say that we're all different, all equal, because that's how it is, that no two people are the same. Limpsfield Grange is all about the girls. We are not the same as the boys. <laughs> Most people think it's boys, but we have it too. Adults usually cover up their autism. Yeah, and the most painful thing is, is that we always get diagnosed when we're older. Yeah. And we yeah. like, we're stuck not knowing what we have. It's a bit like Susan Boyle because she just found out about her autism, but say if she was a boy, she probably would have got found out when she's like three or something. As we get bullied and stuff and we go through all of this, after it's all happened, we're like, oh, so this is the reason, you know, you could have told me earlier. It's a bit late now, isn't it? I think we've all suffered in one way around this table. Value my individuality. In my OCD, I have rituals. What they are is like little things that you do to try and make yourself feel better. So um, I have one when I go to a toilet, I have to pull off a certain number of bits of toilet roll, put it down the toilet before I use it. This is my teddy bear, Edison. I take him around with me when I'm all stressed. He's kind of a comfort teddy, but he's more than that. He is my whole world. I really want to take over the world with the name Toby. This is my cat, Toby. This is my hamster Toby. I name everything Toby. Toby this, Toby that, Toby everything. <laughs> Talking about Toby <laughs> makes me giggle and he makes me really happy. It's not an illness, it's just how I am. You get nervous about little things or you're just shy. I find it hard with crowds. It makes me do things that people don't think, uh, they don't understand. I just find it hard in life sometimes. It just, it, it really affects my life. When I was going into school, I would be kicking and screaming. People would have to lift me up and put me in the classroom and the mummy would have to run off. But then she got really upset and it was a bit sad. My anxieties do get better of me and sometimes I just have to go look for myself in the toilet and actually cry my eyes out and then come out and then I feel better. I've always felt like I was in the dark corner of like the library which no one went in. We are going to have challenges along the way and we know that but we know that other people have autism so you're not the only one. We don't always want to be alone. Autism does affect my life in quite a few ways, like making friends, I find that very difficult. I think they usually think it's like people who don't want to have anything to do with other people. And yet here we are having a nice little chat with each other. They do want to make friends, but they just don't know how to get started. When I was younger, I felt like a ghost. No one would really pay attention to me. All I wanted was a friend. As I got older, I grew a temper. I was like a very angry dragon with devil wings. A dragon that you could just laugh at though because it looks like one of those feeble ones. I feel like I have now risen from the dead. People can see me. I'm no longer a feeble dragon. I have grown angel wings and I've got loads of friends. More than I ever wanted. We have ambitions for the future too. My dream when I grow up and get a job is to go and work with Pixar animations. That is the big dream. I like animals. At college I'm hoping to study animal care level two or three. We can follow our dreams. We can do what we wish. We all have our own special abilities. Just be yourself. Don't let anyone get in your way. Don't let anyone tell you that you're different because you're not, we're all different. My tip is try and um, socialise. Don't be ashamed of it. You are who you are and you can't change that. No one can.
I think I made the best choice I ever made, just coming here. At my old school, I thought I had two best mates, but I found out they weren't. But now here, I feel really safe with all these lovely girls, and they're my best mates ever. In year five, I was finally diagnosed. As soon as I knew I was coming here, I was feeling a hundred times better. At first, we're like a nothing, but here, we're like everything. We're all different and all equal.